is Cheaters Hotel, only on Power 104.3. Natalie is on with us for Cheaters Hotel. So you and your boyfriend, you guys have been together for a while now, right? Yeah, like four years. Okay. Oh, oh geez. She sounds upset. Well, I understand. I you get it, though. Might, yeah, you, you think that he might be cheating. Tell us what's going on. Okay, so uh, we're, I mean, we're quarantining together. We live together. And, you know, under with, when we spend so much time together, obviously you want some time apart. And, like, that's fine. Totally fine. And so when the restaurants reopened, he, like, wanted to just go all the time. And totally fine. He wants to see his friends. And he didn't want me to go with him, which I get. I want my alone time, too. And then I saw one of his friends posted an IG story and there were like a ton of people at the dinner like like it was a party and I guess I wasn't invited to that even though it wasn't just like him and the boys it was like there were a ton of other women there oh yeah he like didn't want me to go to it he didn't say like oh we're having a big get together he like talked about it like it was another one of just like boys night out like you know seeing his friends at dinner but it was like this Got huge it. thing and in this photo his arm was around a girl oh no so i called him while he was out like five times until he finally answered just kind of gave some bullshit excuse like i'm pretty sure he's cheating on me and i don't know what to do because we're just like stuck together okay listen here's what we're gonna do we're gonna call him up we're gonna put him to the cheaters hotel test and and hopefully we can get you some answers and at least figure out if he really is uh cheating okay Okay. Catching cheaters one at a time is Cheaters Hotel, only on Power 1043. Natalie and her man Ian have been together for four years. She's pretty worried. She saw some pictures online with her man at a, uh, a restaurant. Well, it was kind of like a party that she was not invited to. And Weird. Rights and again social distancing, and he was uh, hugged up on a, another woman. So that's not good either. So that's why we are calling him up. Let's go ahead and put him to the Cheaters Hotel test. Hello? Aloha, is this Ian? Yeah. Hi, Ian. My name is Sharon. I work with a travel agency here in town called Aloha Vegas Getaways. I'm just giving you a really quick call to let you know that your name has actually been selected as one of our weekly weekend getaways to Las Vegas. Your good friend no. took a trip with us and mm. he signed you up for this no. weekly flyaway. No, no. This, no, no, you can't believe it? I didn't sign up for anything. No, no, no. no. He, you didn't sign up for anything. No. Your friend signed you up for it. No, that's a random name. It's a scam. Nothing. It's not a scam. It's really... Hello? He hung up. Okay. Uh, let's try to call him back and see if we could do the same thing. Hello? Hi, Ian. I think we got disconnected. This is Sharon from no, Aloha Vegas Getaways. We got disconnected. Why? Uh, I'm just trying to let you know that you want a free trip to Las Vegas. You're good. You're good. You're good at the scam thing. I'm not. No. I didn't hey. Want I didn't hey. Thing. Ian, Ian, hey, listen, obviously we're not going to get one over on you. This yeah, apparently. Is, uh, Dex, yeah, this is Dex and Candace K. We're on the radio, actually. It's Power 104.3. This is something we call Cheaters Hotel, where we put relationships to the test uh, because what? someone thinks that their significant other is cheating. And Natalie's on the other line. She's been thinking that you were uh, stepping out in the relationship. What? What the hell are you talking about? Hey, babe. Babe, what's, what is this? What are you doing? What's going on? So, uh, I think you've been cheating on me. What? How can you even think that? Where are you coming from with all this? <laughs> I've asked you about this like a million times and you never even give me a straight answer. You just give me some bullshit and then we like fight. Like all those nights that you go out with your I'm friends on the phone with you all and then the I see time. other when bitches I sitting next. I, I see them sitting next to you on their stories and your arms those, around them. You know those are my friends and my friends have friends. So we hang out. I ask you to go. You don't want to go. Oh you do not ask me to go. You've been saying that you need some alone time. And now you're catching COVID and gonorrhea. God knows what else to bring back to me. Like, no. are you cheating you're, on me? You're insane. Are you listening to yourself? I go out with my friends. I've asked you to come. You blow me off. I you do, you do you not. You do not ask out. me to come. I don't blow you off. No, no, no. You say check that your you're text. going out with your friends. Just check your text. No, you check your text when I'm texting you asking who this is that you're sitting next to. You're cheating yeah, on me out in the open. People have Instagram. People have camera phones. You think you're not going to get caught? You've given me more than enough reason to act insane. Like, I'm I'm what? never good enough for you, so. You sound crazy. You're, you're crazy right now. Natalie, does he invite you to go to these things? Honestly. Honestly, no. And if he, if he 
does invite me, it's like, hey, I'm doing this. And then he's like, I know you're busy and you have this and this, but you can come if you want. Like, obviously, I'm not going to go you're when no. you're just giving me lip service. No, you know made it clear that you need time alone, which is fine. If you need time alone, we're like cooped up together. I know that. But then you go yeah. out and you're just like touching on all these <laughs> And I see that. Like, you think I can't see it? Ian, who was that girl you had your arm around that other night? You see a picture and then you, you, think you fill in your own thousand words. You have no idea what's going on. So tell me, I'm waiting. Who is she and why is your arm around her? This wasn't just one time. I'm with friends and friends brought other friends. I don't know who she is. You say my arm's around her. For all I know, I was reaching for something on the bar. I don't, right. I don't even remember this. You're being right. so vague. I screenshotted it. I can show you the photos. Please do. Okay, you know what? Honestly, I don't know if we're making any ground here. I don't think uh, we are. Natalie, at this point, uh, I don't know. What do you want to do? Are you done with this? Yeah, only because he's so skeptical that he thinks everything is a scam. And the only thing that's a scam here is our f***ing relationship. Okay, so I take it that you're done? Yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm done. We wish you guys the best. Sorry we couldn't have a, a, a happy Cheaters Hotel. I was really hoping that we would solve this. Yeah, well... Somebody just gaslights you. You can't really do anything about it. Do you think your partner is cheating?